Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Wargame Red Dragon Ash and Shadows. I'm gonna kick off with the Boost and Pocket campaign. I'm not sure if I've actually done this campaign yet with Ash and Shadows, so I'm not really sure what to expect. I know it's the US, it's South Korea, and it is North Korea. I wonder how the units have been changing in this campaign, and what sort of combat you can expect. Let's move to the battle. Blah, blah, blah. We cannot get through. We're cut off. Yes, this is all very unfortunate, but we should be able to survive. Now, the enemy is coming in. Um, eventually. Yes. Okay, they are going to come in. We've got Yui Chang, Daegu, and Yong Jok. Holy crap, you got some good tanks in there. The K2 Pips. You might remember these from the Second Korean War. Very powerful tanks. 24 frontal armor, 23 AP on the gun, 10 rounds a minute rate of fire. This is some impressive tanks. You also have an APS on there, so anything that gets fired at it gets killed off. At least, until they run out. Um... We're looking at Chanmaho 90s, which are terrible tanks, and Chanmaho 214s, which are slightly less terrible tanks. But overall, 15 AP and 20 AP, yeah. They also have some SG-25Ks. Um, if the AI knows how to send these aircraft in, then they can actually pose a threat. I'm just not sure if they will. Because the AI is not known for their brilliance when it comes down to aircraft. Daegu... Is that, uh, yeah, it's that town map. This is going to get pushed by Tokchon 130s. Oh, I need to hit these before they actually strike my infantry. Unfortunately for them, they're not coming in yet. So that's a benefit to me. These are not coming in yet. Uh, actually, they might. Not sure yet. Anyway, the infantry. Strelas, Bantank, Fagots, and 40 Bochong Su. Okay. Shilka, ZSU-57, and Mortars. Susong Po, ATS-103. Holy shit. You just need to sneeze at them and they disappear. But when they fire at you, either with a long-range ATGM, or with a long-range gun, I mean, that's a 2450 meter gun with 27 AP and 5 HE. Good rate of fire. Good off-road speed of 60 for a unit this cheap, and, uh, yeah. This is going to be an interesting unit to kill. They also got a couple of SU-30 MKVs in here, so that's anti-tank guided missiles. And they're going to be running up against my infantry regiment. These guys have Yebigun, Sochung Su-85, that's a very powerful anti-tank weapon. Hebun Commandos, long-range anti-tank option, and the Jigsaw Wagiban. With Rokola's rifles. Suzak so Day, everything gets delivered in Scorpions. So I will have a lot of grenade launchers to throw at the enemy. Okay. And the other group is Gongbyung, that's anti infantry, again with Scorpions. And Kor Yong. These things fire HE and salvos. Also a couple of flamethrowers and some infantry. Yu Chang, K1A2, good tank. Um, it's a bit of an all-rounder. 20 frontal armor, 22 on the gun, 9 rounds a minute. Leclerc Coufra, it's a reconnaissance tank with a 40mm gun. It actually has more frontal armor than this tank. Whereas this is a sort of reconnaissance version of a tank, if you will. Um, yeah, all that they need to do is sneeze at you. Exactly. Um, for some reason we are getting the outdated M48A5Ks. And the K2. And so Chung Su 85. Habian Commanders again. Are there any fobs in this section? No. So this section is going to need a fob. Because that would be very handy in order to deal with these units at range. It's 60 tanks. It's all throwaway shit. It's T55s. It's Type 63s. No. Strela. Bibon Chung Po, Recoilers Rifles, and Coxan Long, Long Range Howitzers, 170mm. Alright, what do I have to support? 
Um, a fob. You're going left. We have a helicopter group. Special aviation. Unfortunately out of cohesion, so they're not going to be getting many points. At least not in the income. Seals. Oh, nice. These are very good helicopters. They're fast. They even have medium stealth. They can deal with vehicles, thanks to those uh, APKWSs. And the GAU-19 is extraordinarily effective against infantry. Rate of fire, look at that. 2580 rounds a minute with a rate of, of uh, an ammo storage of 2400. So they're going to be empty in less than a minute. Of consistent fire, that is. What sort of AA do you have? Because if I can... Oh, crap. <laughs> so much for the helicopter. Oh, actually... If this is the extent of their AA... Then I can prob... No, there's too much. Hwa Sung Chong are also armed with Igles. No. I was hoping to send the helicopters here. And do a flanking maneuver along to Jiu Chang. But I don't think I can do that. I think we're going to get shot down before we get there with those helicopters. So the tanks, K1s, could be an interesting option. Until this thing... Where's that murderous piece of anti-tank weaponry? Here. Until the AT-103 start to sneeze. And with every sneeze, they wipe out one tank. This thing has 19 frontal armor and 24 strength. And this thing, with 27 AP, will still shit on it. It just doesn't really matter. Uh, this already has tanks. This ha nah, fine. You're gonna get sent in here anyway. Recon group. These have two recon. These have no recon. Okay. And I still have thirty points. What other overpowered units can we call in? Uh, Habian commandos. With anti-air, artillery, LCV-120s, those are mortars, and tow. Top attacking tow weapons. <sighs> Tempting. Attack helicopters, Apache Guardians, that's both KP SAMs and Hellfires, and AH-1Js. These are mostly effective against anti- or in an anti-infantry role. Logistic company, if I want to send out more FOBs. Huh. What am I going to send where? Aircraft? Anti-tank? <laughs> that might be a bit much. 10 F-35A Byonggei. 5 kilometer range. Oh, we're going to send these over here. If these can wipe out the infantry, or sorry, the anti-air weaponry, then I can very quickly send in additional units to Daegu and start smashing shit. Just from the skies. Like those helicopters, the Venom. That is going to be fun. Um, the Peace Pheasants. Yeah, they could be handy over here. They're not going to be handy over here. Oh, and we also have the Peace Bridges and the KF-16s. These are all, both of these groups, in an anti-tank roll. Okay, so one here, one there. And then we have the Special Aviation. Oh, I completely missed out on this. We're going to send these in here. Now what I'm going to try and do is let them attack me. I'm not going to call in any reinforcements because I really don't need them. I'm going to let them try and come to me. And when they do, they are going to get uh, defeated, at least partially. I'm going to wipe out the first set of units. And then try to capture the zone, so I can blow up all the command the um, battle groups. Degu. So the plan is, hold all the sectors. And try to get a unit around here. Capture the zone. Wipe out all the battle groups. Excluding the uh, strike squadron. That is not going to be terribly easy. But at least I have an airborne unit. An airborne CV. If they don't see this coming, I might stand a chance. Uh, where are those sneezy things? Oh, they're not even here. Those tank destroyers. Wait, one. Where are they? 
Hmm? Wait, what? Where are those tank destroyers? Back. Support. Vehicle. No. Why am I not seeing them? Am I really overlooking them? Here they are. They're moving to Yui Chang. Oh. Okay. That means that they get to fight K2s. That's a little better. That means that over here, the battle is going to be pretty much favorable to tank warfare. Unless they start to send in SU-30s. If they do that, then my anti-tank or my uh, tank warfare plan is going to go down the drain real fast. But if they don't, then I can pretty reliably send out armored units along these sides here and there. Uh, you cannot attack down there, only in Seoul with Americans. Yeah... Okay. How many CVs do they have? Six. They also have 16 cargoes. That's the most important thing. I can get cargoes. Alright. Command sect. What is this? A Wisent? A logistics vehicle with a gun? Okay. I'm glad I get them and not the enemy. But a logistics vehicle with a gun? That's a new invention. That's not a command vehicle. No, it's not. It's a logistics. <laughs> For some reason or another. You got fighters. Yeah. I should be able to use those against the uh, SU-30s. But the SU-30s are much more capable in those... Um, Anti-air rolls. So they're going to be quite dangerous against my units. And... This... Is this safe? Well... Safe as it's going to be, I hope. Okay, normally I put a couple of tanks here and there. And a reconnaissance unit. Usually in the form of a Suzek Day. Then, the main defense is going to be staged here on Bravo. I do not have any fobs. So all the supplies that I need will either have to be here already or will need to be brought in later. Ideally, I'd send something in with a heavy tag. But I don't have any. So I need somebody who can kick ass. And do it a lot, because they have a lot of units. Four Habian commanders are too few. This would work. But there's only six man per squad. These can work. And UDT seals can work. Normally I just hold up here. But what I would ideally do is charge across the river and set up defenses here. Let them come to me in this town. I'm going to do just that. I'm going to push into this town. These guys are going to take out infantry. These guys are going to take out vehicles. And since the scorpions are all amphibious... We can just swim across. Also, set up some defenses over here because they will come for Young Jock. I've tried ignoring the sector. It doesn't work. The AI will eat you alive. Same here. And with all the sectors captured, I have two, four, so that's six, eight, plus cohesion. So I should have enough there. Let's send out a reconnaissance unit. And try to spot their CV over there. Just so I can neutralize one and potentially fly in my own command vehicle. But it's a later stage op in order to get that done. Ideally though, I would spot them early. But I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Scorpions across. Capture, capture. You're not in the sector? Not helping. Uh, over here and unload. Over there and unload. 
And I want you to get over here and unload. Here they come. Oh, Byonge! How would you like to fight? Oh, shit. Well, the Scorpions did their job. They offloaded the troops, but now the troops are very much under fire. <laughs> Byonge, where'd you drop? Over here, right? Whack him. Good work. Now do it here. Because I'm already losing a lot of infantry here. Come on, I need more of these. The Bionga are going to save my life here. You Deliver an ordinance. Boom. Jesus. This town. Another one, please. Over there. Make it fast. Okay, they might be outspending me here. Also, the fact that my infantry is so inexperienced is not helping. I'm going to lose this position. Next. More Byonge. Over here. They're flooding the town with infantry. I don't think I've seen this much red yet. Come on. Air cover's on the way. Boom. I'm consistently doing a lot of damage, but it is just not enough. They're just outspending me here, infantry-wise. The infantry is, well, holding the line. If you're creative. Just hit him again. Same town. It's a waste of a couple of good cargo trucks, but at this point it can't be helped. Got you covered. Where's the? Why? That's not really why I ordered that bombing. I hope that these can keep them at bay for a bit. Come on, grenade launchers! Here comes the bombing run. And that was not as lethal as I was hoping. Get those mortars over here. Scorpions. Time to go roving. Get these guys. Get the mortars before the fire again. Gotcha. Tanks are moving up now. more VTTs. This is going to get exceptionally risky, but if it works, I destroy the whole battle group in one go. I just need to keep this CV alive, which is going to be quite the challenge. This one right here. Uh-oh. Goodbye, scorpions. Get the CV away. Oh, it's a scorpion. I thought it was an, a helicopter, but it's not. Yeah. I can see that coming back to bite me in the ass. Hold, 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 hold. Don't get too close. They got RPG-28. Those things will shit on you if they get too close. Scorpions. Come on. Fast, fast, fast. Fast is good. You got it. Ship up for Sumo, pal. fly there. Oh! Aircraft? Really? That's probably not a range. Okay, fine. Uh, drop here. And drop there. One dropped. Drop off, drop off, drop off. Get out, infantry. Get out, get out, get out. Got a couple. Got something. Potential CV on the move. CV confirmed. Hold. Get the scorpion in here now. Do not give chase to that CV. 
Infantry CV is fighting. Get these guys. Get these guys, get these guys, get these guys. Get the Scorpion in now. Now, 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 now. Faster driver, gun it. Gun it. Come on. Gotcha. Whew. That was... A little too close for comfort, I might say. Holy. <sighs> okay. Um, I could suppose you... Well, I suppose you could say the Byongays did a bit of work. <laughs> so did the uh, Sochong Su-85, by the way. Holy shit. Losses, 327. Kills, 1456. Not bad. <laughs> oh, that was close. Nice. Okay. You know what? I'm going to keep these uh, booze and pocket episodes a little shorter. Should make it easy on the editing. So that's it for episode one. I shall join you again soon for episode two. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I shall see you soon for more episodes.